everyone, and welcome to the first day of the Vertical Blue 2021 Freediving Competition. We are here doing the deepest dives of the day, so we are going to cut this intro short. My name is Rachel. I'm Sean. And we have Alexei Molshanov on the dive line. One minute before official top, Alexei has announced a free immersion dive where he's pulling himself down, down the line to 126 meters. If this is a clean dive, this will be a new world record. This is the deepest depth of the day, correct? That is correct. This is the deepest announced depth of the day. Immersion dive. World record. Let's go, Alexei. Twenty meters. So one of the most amazing things about the free diving community is how supportive the competitors are of each other. If you are able to see this in future clips, all of the free divers are around the competition area here cheering on their fellow competitors. So he is now at 30 meters, looking strong. 45 seconds. Yeah, it really is a great feeling of everyone supporting each other. They're not necessarily competing against each other, they're competing against themselves. It's a real strong community. And Alexei actually has the current free immersion world record at 125 meters, so he is actually competing against himself. So he's going from 125 to 126. 115. So he's in that free fall right now. Yeah. One thirty. It's going so far down, he can almost just take a nap. And you know, a lot of free divers actually do um, talk about this relaxation phase as a part in time where they almost feel like they are falling asleep. Yeah. Some free divers actually have techniques to keep themselves awake because you do run the risk of falling too asleep and then not being aware. When you are getting the depths like this, you can get a little narked out, so being narked out means that it can change your cognition a little bit, so there is a lot more safety that goes into the dive when you're doing anything over 50 meters. Hit the bottom plate and grab that tag. It 
is now in his hood and he is making his way back up to the surface. Let's go. He's looking nice and relaxed. You can't see it on the screen here, but all of the free divers are around the competition area holding their breath and cheering him on very, very quietly. down. Our second safety is going down. Safety is now in frame. Four fifteen. Second safety is now in frame. Now it looks like he's gliding up to the surface. And yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. That is a new world record for free immersion. Wow. And you can see all the competitors here cheering him on. Congratulations, Alexei. That was amazing. He was down there for so long, I forgot it was the same person. <laughs> yeah, that can be a thing. I almost took a nap. He did definitely look super, super relaxed. of the day and the safety team is going to be pulling up the line in a moment. He's got all the support from the other dog. That's such a cool thing to see, especially with such an individual sport.
I asked for pizza and they gave me a bag of almonds. <laughs> At least they come in a waterproof bag. That's I don't true. think I don't think anybody'd like a soggy pizza. I wanted a pepperoni pizza. Oh man. I like the pineapple. Like pineapple? Hawaiian. Or all of the above. Okay. Maybe barbecue chicken. Oh oh. Oh now we're talking. Mm. So I know the, the coaches aren't allowed out here. Mm -hmm. Are they allowed to be in the water next to the dock or um, on the deck? Or do they have to stay on the beach? I know, you know that there's a certain point in time where they are not allowed to be in the competition area. Oh, okay. Um, but we will probably talk about that in the future with Francesca or one of our judges. So for anybody who might be interested in freediving nutrition, um, there is a company called Freediving Nutrition, and if you see on the back of Davide's wetsuit, one of his sponsors. Um, so there are ways to increase your health and your ability to recover from dives uh, with supplements. So it'll be interesting talking to him a little bit more about some of his sponsors, possibly in the future. This is going to be a new personal best for Davide if he is able to get this dive. His past personal best is 114 meters. So six meters more. Six meters more. There's a lot of Italians here. There are. I believe we have 21 different countries represented here at this competition. Have you ever been to Italy? No? Me neither. No, I wish. I'd like to go. Here we are talking about pizza. Pizza, Italy. If any Italian families want to adopt me, I'm open to it. <laughs> you know, it'd be really interesting to check out some of the dive sites around the area as well. I haven't done any free diving in Europe. Where are some of your favorite spots you've ever freed of? Uh, I really like Peng Lao in the Philippines. Peng Lao? Yeah, so that is where people are diving competitively. You have instant depth almost immediately from shore. And then you have a lot of fun dives in the area as well. Huh. So plenty of wrecks, um, plenty of ocean life. So does everyone have their own personal noodles? Because <laughs> everyone has a different color. Yeah, everybody has and if that noodles. If that is the, uh, the deal, then I want to know where my noodles are. I mean, once you dive 100 meters, once it, I that, dive. That's, that's your prize for getting to the 100 meters. How about if I, hit, cool if I hit 10 meters, then I get a noodle? All right, all right. Well, okay, 10 meters. If you do five, maybe you can get your own airline pillow. Did you come with an airline pillow? If you notice <laughs> no, some, some I did of the not. divers will actually use that to help keep nice and relaxed. Okay. So keep an eye out for that as well. So my first day here, we see a world record. That's pretty amazing. That has been quite fantastic. It is also my first day here, so nice job. I think he was trying to so impress like, us. Right. Yeah, 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 maybe.
20 seconds. to rub Vaseline on it? I don't know. We could ask him. So he is now at 89 meters and in the sink phase. We're seeing that he's getting a little bit of a contraction there. Or maybe he's equalizing. We can't quite tell. Like he's reaching down the candy cane. Candy cane. Grab the tag and he's on his way back up. 145 seconds. His arms are up and he is kicking strong and working his way to the surface. Very majestic. You know, it's been very interesting watching a lot of the divers that are diving with monofins right now. I have gotten to play around with a mermaid tail and it's just interesting to see how efficient their kicks are. Mm -hmm. I'd love to play with an actual monofin. Well, you have a mermaid tail, don't you? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that would be so fun. World record, deepest mermaid. There you go. Oh, uh, good idea. There you go. Okay, our safeties have gone down. And he is swimming so fast, he's out swimming our dive eye. Yeah, he's bolting. You can see our safeties are accompanying him to the surface. He's at 20 meters. He's doing his recovery breaths. Okay, so the safeties did have to touch him, so we will see what they say. Right card. Great job, though. He did do an amazing job. He got a red card. Like I said, there are opportunities for more dives. Each diver has six dives in this entire competition. He did look strong on the way up, but he did miss the line, unfortunately. So when you pop up, you have to be right on the line. You have to pop up, grab the line, and you can't submerge back into the water. If okay. You saw for a short period of time, he popped up and went back down into the water. 
Um, we'll see if we get the opportunity to talk about the talk to the judges about that uh -huh. on what gave him exactly that red card. Wasn't he clipped on though? He was clipped on, um, but the the lanyard is long enough to give you some leeway. Uh huh. So it will it could theoretically be longer than the diver's card. Okay. We have a very well-trained safety team, and he is doing perfectly fine talking with the other divers right now. Yeah, the safety team was right on him as soon as he popped up. Okay, so our next dive is Alessia Zucchini. She has a constant weight dive. This is going to be a world record attempt. So her personal best is 107 meters. So she's going for 115 right now. Wow. When I say 107, this is a competition record, not necessarily the diver's personal best. Okay. So do you know what the record is before this, before 115? Do you know what uh, it is at the let's moment? Let's see. I might have that on me in my note cards. Okay, so the constant weight world record for the females is currently held by Alenka Artnik and she has the world record at 114 meters. Great, so we're going one meter above. Two world record attempts in one session. Yes, so we are in the second session of the day, which is where the deepest dives of the day will be happening. Okay, and so now we are going to be headed to the beach, where we are going to be interviewing Alexei about his interview, or about his dive. It's an interview about his dive. It's a dive interview. Yes. Live on dive by at Vertical Blues. Hello. Well, first white card and first world record. So, very good start for the comps for me. Five more days to go. Uh, and I, you know, I'll, I'll be curious to see how this discipline will go for because there is quite some strong competitors for me as well in pre immersion. But t for now, I can focus on other disciplines and just see how my buddies' competitors will do it. So, tell me how. Vertical Blue this year is different after two years off because of COVID and coming back with a new member of your team, Max. Well, now it's more of us. Yes, I have son here <laughs> with my wife. It was like, challenging to come here with like all family. It's actually like quite a far trip and with all their visas and all their like layovers. It was very, very long. Like, but I made it and here it's all the same like blue hole is the same conditions are the same like no current no waves it's all like really one of the best conditions for free immersion specifically because the platform is very stable the rope is very stable so that I, I like it a lot so since the last time we were here you have started this Molchanov's movement and we see a lot of Molchanov's athletes here talk to me about who you have with you so here in our team this year it's uh, Arnaud Arnaud Gerard and he's uh, in our motions team, but he's also my competitor, so we actually will be competing for Bifins, and he'll be starting soon, right now, here. And uh, we have Matt, he's our uh, also member of committee, and he's experts in, in our uh, education committee, contributor, not only like an athlete in, in sports, but also he's a top educator. And uh, so it's like the team is growing, not all of us are here, a lot of competitors like stayed in Europe, and some of us were competing in pool championship, the one that finished yes, but now it's, it's uh, yeah. So the most important question, everybody wants to know, what did you eat for dinner last night? Well, not for breakfast. Not for breakfast, <laughs> dinner. <laughs> for dinner it was just like normal dinner with a, with a chicken uh, uh, and pasta and like quite some calories actually. Okay. So a good full dinner. No, and no coffee this morning? No coffee this morning, no, no, no. <laughs> okay, good luck for the rest of the Thank coffee. you, thank you.
Hey, that was an amazing interview. Uh, we are back to the dive of Alessia Zucchini, her constant weight dive to 115 meters. It is 20 seconds from official top. On her dive. Let's go, Alessia. And speaking of pool noodles and airline pillows, she has both. She's got both because she's that cool. Because she's going for a world record. She deserves both. To reiterate, I have never free dived in my life, and I don't know anything about it. So, if you're a beginner, just listen to what I ask and what Rachel answers. We'll both be experts by the end of this week. So, let's see, it's now at 99 meters. She just hit the 100 meter mark. Candy cane. Oh yeah. There you go. Now she's a lot more explosive on the way up than she was on the way down. She's moving and grooving. flying through space. bother them having their eyes open. And this will be interesting to watch in future dives if she always dives with her eyes open. Our safety is accompanying her to the surface. Second safety has just arrived. part of a dive with the changes in pressure. Here she comes to the surface. Grab the line, she grabbed the line. She said she's okay. And she gets, yeah, white card. Congratulations. So that is a new world record for the constant weight discipline, 115 meters. I've never met her before, but I want to give her a hug. Wow, 
that was very stressful for a few milliseconds. She came up and was not grabbing for the line, mm -hmm. but she finally did grab the line. She got it, and she gave the okay sign, went through the surface protocol. Congratulations, Alexa. Yeah, I was worried as well. Wow, that was incredible. So if you are just joining us, you are joining us for the second and deepest session of day one of the Vertical Blue 2021 Freediving Competition. Two world records, one session. It's pretty unbelievable. And Sean and I, have, this is our first deep freediving or depth freediving competition, so it's been really interesting getting to watch all of these amazing world-class freedivers. I'm learning a lot. I don't know much about freediving, but I'm learning a lot so far. All right. So our next diver is Alenka Artnik. She is from Slovenia, and she has 10 freediving world records. She's going to be doing a constant weight dive of 118 meters, which is a world record attempt. And it's really interesting where you're starting to see some of the strategy associated with a free diving competition. If you notice, Valencia just did a constant weight dive. She did it to 115 meters. Alenka has announced a dive depth of 118 meters. Ooh. So it might be interesting to see if there is a back and forth in a competition for this particular world record over the course of the competition. Wow. Okay, so, so a recap for the dive so far, day one, session two. We've already had Alexei Molshinov, who did a world record, Davide Carrera, Alessia Zucchini, who did a world record, and now we are at Alenka, who is doing a world record attempt. A lot of support out here. A lot of the divers are surrounding the, uh, what would you call this? This is the competition area. It's a big square blocked off. PVC pipes. PVC pipes. A little bit of duct tape. You can also see uh, some of our sponsors for this competition are Orca, which create the fastest freediving suits around out as a triathlon wetsuit company and they have branched out into competitive freediving. Sunto is a brand of watch or Sunto. dive computer and if you look around this area you will see a lot of freedivers with a Sunto dive computer. Can you explain to me what this dive computer is? So a dive computer actually tells you quite a lot of interesting information. So you have your depths, uh -huh. so you can see how deep you dive and track those. Uh -huh. You have your dive time, you can also track your dive speed depending on the computer. Okay. It also tells you water temperature, um, so that can tell you a lot of information. Sometimes if a free diver is not used to diving in a cold area, mm -hmm. they will have equalization issues. And so this is all data to help a free diver figure out how to make their dives better. And it just goes right around your neck? It can go around your neck. It can go around your wrist, and sometimes free divers will keep them in the hood. Okay.
Pincho is actually one of Alenka's sponsors as well as a sponsor of this free diving competition. Alenka is looking to break the world record that was just set about five minutes ago by Alicia. By Alessia Zicchini. Alessia. Italy. Italy. One minute. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Top time. She's off. Constant weight, 118 meters. Dive time is 3.30. World record. A little bit different of a tactic than uh, Alessia. Alessia. Yeah, Alessia dives with her arms up, and Alenka is nice and relaxed with her arms down. It's interesting, the first time I met her, it was in the Philippines. So it's quite intriguing getting to see that a lot of the competitive freedivers that you see in different parts of the world all train in the same place. So you'll see one in the Philippines and now we're seeing them here. She's now at 45 meters. One minute into her dive time at 65 meters. 70 meters. Yeah, I'm wishing I had my popcorn right now because just watching this is going to be very interesting over the course of the competition to see these two women battle back and forth for the world record. Yeah. 90 meters. And maybe battle is too strong of a word. Compete. I wish I had my pizza. Ah. Barbecue chicken, pineapple pizza. I haven't seen ranch so far. I totally love pizza with ranch. She's real close to the rope. And she's just now hit the candy cane. Candy cane. There you go. Grab that tag, very smooth. And she is shooting back up to the surface. Mm -hmm. And now she has her arms up. How dark it is down there. Can't even see her. There we and go. there she is. And there she is. Ready? 
you know, it'd be really interesting to ask the guys at Dive Eye what the top speed of the Dive Eye is. So a lot of these divers are diving super fast in a monofin. Yeah. She is now at 57 meters. And our safeties are just now starting to go down for her. She is diving back up into the light again. She's kicking slower, but she's at that 20 meter mark. She's becoming more positively buoyant. Maybe she's just sliding back up to the surface. We will see in a moment. Oh, here we go. And she's grabbing the line. They are not touching her. All right. She's doing her recovery breaths, gave the okay sign. Judges say. Congratulations! Wow! Incredible. And as you can see here, the support from the community is just incredible. Everybody's gathered around and cheering each other on. Yep. Congratulations, Alenka. Pulling up the dive line again. They've been on it all morning. Okay, so we are here at the Vertical Blue Freediving Competition. Our next competitor is Arnaud Gerald from France. I think what's incredible about this is they get five more dives. They do. You know, so what just happened right now is very interesting. We had a world record that was set, and then two dives later, later another world record was set. But uh, she's got five more dives to go back and reclaim that if she wants to. Exactly. And so our next diver is Arnaud Gerald from France. He's doing a constant weight bifins dive to 116 meters. This is yet another world record attempt. by age 21. 21? It's fantastic. I didn't start officially free diving or I didn't even take my first free diving course until <clears> I was 28. <throat> so it's just amazing seeing free divers come into the community and have such an opportunity to just train and get better. I didn't even know how to do my laundry when I was 21. Age 21, I think I was just starting pharmacy school. Okay, well, you're way ahead of me then. <laughs> right. Why don't you just brag a little more, Rachel? No way. I was just really nerdy. Happy fins. Look at all those happy fins. Happy fins, happy fans. Happy fins, happy fans. Happy divers. some weird 
wins here. Oh yeah. Our little commentator booth, if you can see us in the frame, you know, these parts may turn into a sailboat, we might sail away. Yeah. I would love to be sailing here in the Bahamas. Oh, that'd be beautiful. There's some Five amazing minutes. dive sites here. Did you know that the Bahamas has been the set of several different movies? There were three different James Bond movies that were shot here in the Bahamas. Ooh. So there are the different shipwrecks, and then there's this place called Thunderball Grotto, which you have to dive in to on uh -huh. breath hold, and then it opens up into this huge cavern. So the Bahamas, if you are interested in checking this area out, there are a lot of amazing places to see, both above and underwater. I'm just gonna give you a little um, locals knowledge. When you fly from Nassau to Long Island, there are two airports that you can get dropped off at. On this tiny island. I got dropped off at the wrong airport and then had to take an hour and a half taxi drive to the right airport. And you met the taxi driver's family? I met the taxi driver's family. We stopped by her niece's place to grab some macaroni. It was it was quite the uh, quite the experience. Four minutes. It was good macaroni. I've never had that type. It was. It looked like a, like a brownie kind, like a brownie shape. Oh, it was like baked. Yeah, it was baked. And baked it kept its shape. Yes. Mm, probably better than the mac and cheese we have in the states. It was good. You can tell it's getting close to lunchtime. Yes. Yeah, as, as it's getting further and further into the competition, we are talking a bit more about food than we did at the beginning. Yes. Not to bring up the pizza again. We hope you got to get your. Pizza. But having a slice of pizza would be nice. Here he has a, he's going to be going for bifins or doing this dive with his bifins. Three minutes. Three minutes. everyone welcome to vertical blue 2021 we're here on long island in the beautiful bahamas and we are here in one of the most incredible free diving spots in the world dean's blue hole it's over 600 feet deep and it has incredible structure and most importantly for the free divers it has no current very little wind and during low tide, if we time it correctly, we get up to 45 meters of visibility. Hi, my name's Enchante. I am here to compete in Vertical Blue 2021. I'm from Hawaii, so I'm representing the United States. So, uh, yeah, the reason that I'm here is I actually was able to place in the top 10, so I got an invite to be part of the Freediving World Series. I'm really stoked to be here. It's my first time diving in Dean's Blue Hole and it's beautiful, it's nice diving where there's no current, waves, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm Thibaut Guignes, I am from France and I'm here for the Vertical Blue 2021 competition. Uh, of course, as a freediver, beginner, and even professional, I was following Vertical Blue over the past few years because it's like the most famous freediving competition. And I was lucky enough to participate in 2018 uh, edition where I had a very, very good experience. So I couldn't wait to be back. Uh, and now it's happening again. So I'm really happy to be here. One of the best things about being here in the Bahamas at Dean's Blue Hole is being able to not just enjoy the incredible nature, but the wonderful people of Long Island and the Bahamas. We will be sitting here beachside eating fresh conch salad. And while you might not be able to taste it, we really want you to stay tuned.
Ten seconds. Ten. Five, four, three, two, one. Top time. Top time. Do you have his uh, personal best before this? Yeah, so with Bifins it was actually 108 meters. 108? Yeah. So he's going for 116. Which is, let me do the math for you. Okay. Eight Four more meters. Correct. However, this uh, record that I actually have is from a competition. So just as I said before, a competition, he may have had plenty of time to train since he has set this record. Okay. So 116 one minus 3 Excellent. is, um, let's use my fingers, uh, 113 meters. Correct. So our guess is maybe he has already done this in his training. Okay. So we're at 105 meters right now. If you're going to ask me all these number questions, I need a calculator out here. All right. And he has hit the candy cane. Grab nice. That bag and is on his way up. Arms are up. Moving and grooving, baby. His eyes open too. Mm -hmm. If you notice, he has his head straight forward. Uh, when you are a beginning diver, sometimes there is the habit to look up and down the line, and especially mm -hmm. when you're diving deeper depths, that is a potentially unsafe thing to do. So, as you're getting your fun dives in, if you're diving fairly deep, you just don't want to be stretching out the trachea because this is a sensitive area. Okay. And does that affect your breath? Yes, so it doesn't necessarily affect your breath, but it can predispose you to something called a trachea squeeze. So if you have a little bit of pressure in that area um, and it's not equalized, you can actually tear some of the tissues in that area and cause damage to That it. sounds terrible. Okay, sign. He's looking at the judges. He's going for that tag. <laughs> he just dropped it in the water. Mic drop. Yeah, and a white card. Congratulations. Amazing. Pop some, pop some bottles of uh, champagne out here. <laughs> I think the only bubbles I'm seeing right now are the ones coming from all the free divers. Yes. Probably a bad idea to start drinking champagne now. Dawn 
underwater camera operator. Oh yeah, Dan Verhoeven is very well known for some of his underwater photography. It's uh, not Dan, it's Don. Don. Don, oh, okay. Sorry, American it's accent. It's a double N. I was corrected the other day. Mm. Don. Sorry, apologies for the American accent. So obviously the safety team is experienced free divers as well. They are experienced free divers. Many have been uh, safety divers for previous competitions or have organized competitions themselves. Yeah. Um, some have been to this particular competition multiple times as the safety. Our medical team is also very well qualified. Um, they are respiratory therapists and EMTs. They have been here for several years in the All right, so our next diver is Walid Gudiyat from Tunisia. He has an announced free immersion dive to 114 meters. There's a bunch of Speedos out here. I need to get one. I think everybody's trying to get a little bit of fun. I don't know about you. Where are you going back to? I need a Speedo. Need uh, a speedo. Where am I going? You're going back to after this? Uh, I'm going back to Greenville, South Carolina for a little bit. Uh, yeah. Any sun there? No. No. Okay. It's you sunny, but there's no beach. There's mountains. Any Speedos? No Speedos. No Speedos. I got to get my Speedo time in now. <laughs> We have a yellow noodle for our next competitor. All right, so Walid has an announced dive depth of 116 meters. His personal best in bifins is currently at 113 meters. Okay, so he's going one meter up. He's going three meters up. Um, did you say 113? 113. Oh, yep. Yeah. Ooh. Maybe things have changed, or maybe my information does not match, but we shall see. So he's going 114, but his personal best in Bifin so far is 113. Okay. Walid? Walid Bouya. Walid. <laughs> So Walid is the sixth diver of this session, followed following Alexei, who did a world record, Davide Carrera, Alessia Zakini, who also did a world record, Alenka Artnik, who did a world record, Arno Gerald, which did a world record. And so as you're seeing here, we are making history today. Bunch of all-stars. It's been fantastic getting to watch them. How many divers do we have in the first session? How many divers? I think we had, it, it was at least 10. It was the same amount? Yeah. I feel like there's a lot more in the second session. So we had 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 in the first session. So there's 10 in each session, is that the... 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And there are 10 in the second session. Huh. The sun is making me delusional. <laughs> it is also interesting to note that the, the deepest dives also take a little bit longer, so... Maybe that's it. Maybe it's the time dilation because they're just longer dives. You know what, Rachel? That makes a lot of sense. Call me the expert. The deeper you dive, the longer it takes. You never know. I did not put two and two together. You know, it's really interesting. Uh, have you ever gotten to see the underwater scooters? Underwater scooters? They have underwater scooters. So what? sometimes for different competitions, uh, some of the safeties will get to ride scooters up and down. So if you see here, the safety team is still the same from earlier today. A lot of the safety team are doing repeat dives. So our competitive divers are doing one dive in a day and our safety divers are doing dive after dive yep. after dive. I wanna, I wanna ride on one of those underwater scooters. <laughs> yeah, so an underwater scooter can make things a little bit more efficient for the safety team. 
Um, but all of our safety team are very, very strong divers themselves. This is how I would be getting ready. My feet up, relaxing. Thinking about your life? Thinking about my life. In the sunshine? In the, in the beautiful Bahamas. Two minutes from official top. Trains in Walik, trains in Colombia. This is where he organizes competitions and world record attempts. One minute thirty. One thirty. I think that's so cool that some of these divers are sponsored by their governments. Yeah, it's been quite interesting to see that a lot of the competitive divers from Europe, um, their, their, com their countries sponsor them and provide them a lot of additional help to just be the best competitors that they can be. It would be great to have that in the U.S. and fortunately we do have a little bit of that. Um, but one of the largest goals is to bring more awareness to competitive free diving. Yeah. watching Walid's style, he's pulling less frequently than some of the other free immersion dives, and look at the amount of glide that he's getting with each pull. Now he's free falling. Free falling. Walid has had an excellent year so far. He actually got a variable weight world record in January of this year. Does he have any weights on him? I would assume that he does, um, but at this point in time we can't see it. Maybe there's that neck weight right there. Okay. 
Yeah, I don't know if you ever get the opportunity to dive in a net weight. Neck weight. I Me? Per I personally don't like the feeling, but I guess it's just something to get used to uh, if you're a competitive Nice. Player. He's hitting the candy cane. And he's on his way up. seeing the technique for how he is moving his arms. It almost looks like he's doing a front crawl swim stroke up the line. Mm -hmm. Very streamlined, but more of a swimming stroke. Yeah, hand pulling. behind the head. Yeah. Oh, still grabbing the line, that's good. He's at 57 meters and on his way back up. Some longer strokes now. <laughs> 44 meters. He's starting to slow down a bit. He's getting a kick in, but the safety is there for him. Safety's got a close eye on him, and the safety is not touching him yet, but all right, the safety is bringing him back up at 30 meters, so this is a deep blackout. He's trying to kick his way back up. Fortunately, we do have some very, very amazing, talented safeties. The second safety is there, helping to shoot him back up to the surface. Meg, grab him. Deep water blackout. So he's at 18 meters. It's an underwater meters, blackout. 17 meters. Surface safety is up at the surface. Our safety team is ready to receive him. They're bringing him right and up. You see some bubbles being exhaled. Okay, he is now receiving rescue breaths from our safety team. He's doing his recovery breaths and coming back up. They're holding him up. Nice job, Walid. Great job, They're safety now team. Bringing him to the platform. And if you can see here how quickly they responded, they were ready to go. Our safety team is very, very well qualified to take care of him. Um, so our deep safety immediately grabbed him and brought him back up to the surface. So you have three safeties that are there to bring somebody back up as quickly as possible. Um, right now he is on the dive platform where they are doing further assessments and he will be going over to our medical team as every single diver does after their dive just to be assessed by our medical team and make sure that they are good to go for future dives. Yep, he's up now. So for any freedivers or new people who are just watching freediving for the first time, sometimes when you are pushing these world record attempts or very large depths, uh, blackouts and losses of motor control can happen. But if you can think about the timing that this does happen, you have three safeties and a very well qualified health team to take care of the divers. So if these attempts are going to happen, it's great that we have such an awesome team to be able to make sure that the divers are kept safe. Yeah, they really work very well together. So one of the first things that you do if a free diver has a blackout is to give them oxygen. So he is breathing 100% oxygen right now.
Well, that was the first of the day, but the safety team did a great job bringing him to safety, taking care of him. He's now doing a lot better. And that is the reality of free diving. And once the safety team here on the platform has approved him to go, Waleed will end up going to the beach where they will see our safety team or our medical team on land to be evaluated for the ability to make future dives. It's just a great reminder as well to, to show how these free divers are pushing themselves to their limits. So now up on the dive line, we have Thibaut Guignet for a free immersion dive to 110 meters. This is Thibaut's area of focus. Um, I first met him in the Philippines, and this is one area that he really excels in. He has a personal best of 120 meters in free immersion. Um, so he has an announced dive time that, or depth that is shallower than that. It is the first day of the competition, so we will see what he gets to do throughout the rest of this competition. I am also proud to say that we are now Facebook friends as well. Oh, you guys are Facebook yes, friends? Yes, we are Facebook friends. That's fantastic. One minute. Thirty seconds. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, top time.
to, ha to have a successful dive after what we just experienced will just show yeah, and the, the mental uh, stability and confidence that he has. And the amazing thing about these freediving competitions is these freedivers are getting to do dives with the safeties over the course of several weeks. So they really had the opportunity to build up trust in their safeties mm -hmm. and know that their safeties are going to take care of them if something does happen. So Tebow is looking strong at 65 meters. He's in the sink phase and looking completely relaxed. Turning around. Oh, and he did an early turn at 82 meters. And I haven't personally had the opportunity to train with Thibaut, but from what I have heard, he is a fairly safe diver, and if he doesn't feel right at around the 80 mar meter mark, he will do an early turn. So. You know, it's very important for a free diver to be as safe as possible, and that is how he personally makes sure that his dives go well and he's able to come up and be safe. First safety is meeting him at the 30 meter mark. listening, can you explain what equalizing is? Yeah, so equalizing, when you are diving to extreme depths or any depths whatsoever, if you've ever gotten to swim to the bottom of a pool and you notice that your ears are hurting, um, that, that is because the water pressure is pushing in on air spaces that are compressible. So, for example, a mask or your ears um, or your sinuses. So these are things that actually need to be equalized by the air in a diver's lungs. And so when divers are diving to anywhere below what is called residual volume, or usually around 30 meters or 100 feet, they're having to build up extreme flexibility of their diaphragm and their rib cage to make sure that they can bring up as air, as much air as possible, as safe as possible. Thank you. Who do we have next? So here we have Stefan Toureau. He's doing a constant weight dive, and he is from France. Stefan. Stefan Toureau. 
We actually got to play a little bit underwater on a camera. He is doing some photo shoots for some of his sponsors. Uh, you'll get to see the watch that is on his right wrist. They are his sponsors as well. Um, but he has gotten the opportunity to make some pretty cool underwater art. He trains in MC in France. There is an 80 meter green hole. Um, so it is in France and quite beautiful. I'd love to visit it someday. So that explains why there's a lot of free divers from France here. Because? Because of the hole there? Um, yeah, so that's more of an inland free diving training location. Oh, okay. Our it's a location. It's a training location. Yeah. Okay. So for him, that's where he lives and that's where he gets to do a lot of his training. Um, there is also a lot more training out along in open water. Um, but I actually had the opportunity to meet him when he was in the Philippines. Oh, nice. So a lot of free divers here have gotten to travel the world in a lot of amazing places and do their training. Three minutes. Okay. to the beach where we are doing an interview with Alenka. process a little bit, let's say. So my name is Elenka Artnik, I'm coming from Slovenia. I announced uh, 180 meters today and um, I accomplished my dive. Uh, it was an amazing, uh, amazing, amazing dive. I was a little bit nervous before, before it, I have to admit. Um, I didn't sleep very well uh, the last night, but uh, I think that when stra uh, stress is a bit higher, then the focus is also stronger. So dive was really amazing you know like from the beginning until the end super focused and um, as you could see the surface uh, the, the protocol was really really uh, clean and strong so you were absolutely clean and strong and you knew today was a big day for you yeah what did you think when you saw the start list and you saw some of your friends also saying we're gonna do it all today big world record dive yeah the thing is that you know when you wait for this start list um, I know that okay you just need to check when is your official top and then put everything aside you know for me it doesn't matter anything else but my official top and that I do my dive you know this is something that I try to follow during my preparations during my training and as well during my competition for me it's really really important not to think about anything else but uh, myself, my feelings, my intuition, and, um, and this is why I think I could also handle this dive because I was really focused uh, on myself. I was not even focused on the fact that this is a new world record, but just like I knew I am ready, I knew I can do this dive. I did it on the, on the, on the training, it was really strong, and I have, I think, enough experiences, uh, so this, this is also why I announced this depth. So in terms of your favorite place, one, top time. Okay, and we are back to the dive of Stefan Fulo. He is about to, he just started his constant weight dive. And once again, Stefan has an announcement. Dive time is 255. And as the announcer just said, he is diving to 107 meters with a dive time of 255.
He is using the mono fin. She's now at 76 meters. 80 meters. It's interesting to watch that a lot of these mono fin dives, the diver will have the dive to their right because meters. the mono fins are so large and could potentially get in the way of the rope, or the rope could get in the way of the mono fin. Mm. He's looking nice and relaxed. At 104 meters, he has just hit the candy cane. Candy cane. And he touched down, and he's coming back up. 100 meters. He has just put his arms up. Our first safety diver has gone down to meet him. He's coming back up out is. of the depths. Sixty meters. Two fifteen. Is it a dive time of two fifteen with fifty meters to go? Look at the force. Force of the monofin. Our judges are at the surface with an eye on him. And once the diver is in sight, they will move out of the way and to their area so he can give them his surface protocol. He's at 15 meters. There he is. Wow. He's doing his recovery breaths. He's giving an okay sign. <laughs> yes. Ah, uh, this little bit stress on the comb. <laughs> I feel the stress on the Looks like there was a slight MC, but he's doing great. He seems to be okay. Yeah. All there smiles. There's that card. Look at all the smiles. There we go. And he gets the white card. Congratulations. Yeah, it might be interesting for you to see when a lot of these divers are going to these extreme depths, they are using up a large amount of their body's oxygen supply. So if you'll get to see on future dives, look at the skin color. This is one of the signs that we are looking for. Mm -hmm. um, a diver might start looking a little bit blue. That's a sign that they are hypoxic or low oxygen. Mm. And then you saw that he was a little bit hypoxic there because he was also shaking a little bit. Yep. Um, but he recovered very quickly, and he had a clean dive. So, after these dives, say it doesn't go well, how long is the recovery process, usually? Is there like an average, you know, a day or two, or...? Well, it depends on what you mean by doesn't go well. So this loss of a loss of motor control, mm -hmm. he recovered almost immediately. He's going to be going to the medical tent for evaluation, um, but he will probably be able to continue on with his dives without any issue. Um, lung squeezes and trachea squeezes, mm -hmm. if a diver does come up and they have issues and like if you hypothetically see them spinning blood, that is something that will be up for the medical team to evaluate. Um, and then as far as these blackouts, uh, yeah. those are also available for the medical team to make that call. Is there, for, if, for a blackout, is it possible for someone to be fully recovered by the next day? Um, that I'm not sure about. That'd be something that we would ask the medical team for. Uh, if you are a free diver out there, uh, if you get the opportunity to listen to a free dive cafe podcast, that is by Donnie Mack. There is a very interesting podcast uh, with an interview from our safety or our medical team here at Vertical Blue. Um, so they provide a little bit more information than I would be able to about the long-term effects of some of the blackouts and LMCs that can possibly happen in a free diving competition. So we have two more divers for this session, session two. We have Yun Xie Ku and Vincenzo Ferri. So 
they're going to be going for a national record attempt. This is a free immersion dive with an announced dive depth of 101 meters and a dive time of 3 minutes and 53 seconds. Hopefully I didn't speak too soon about not being seasick. Oh yeah? Are you yeah. feeling okay? I feel, you know. You know, fortunately there are medications for that. Might make you a little bit drowsy. Cocktail? <laughs> Mechlozine. <laughs> okay. Margarita? Definitely not. Definitely not? Definitely not. Okay. No margaritas. That's after work. After. Oh, look at that. They are all matching. Look at all that blue. Look at all that blue. This is the first diver that's done this, though. Uh, there have been a few others that have had it. Um, Today? Earlier? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. One minute. <clears throat> but yeah, when you were talking about almost falling asleep, yeah. a lot of free divers, when they are as relaxed as they are, sometimes they could potentially miss the alarm, and so that's why it's so important to have it close and in an area that mm -hmm. makes it easier for you to hear. So once again, this is a national record attempt. Taiwan? 30 seconds. So we are 30 seconds from official talk. watching a lot of these pre-immersion dives, how each of the divers are so relaxed on the way down, mm -hmm. and then on their way up, they are just power their way back up. Yep. One. 
meters. So we're at 47 meters. And I think what's hard to understand is how much pressure there is down there the farther you go. Yeah, so for every 10 meters or 33 feet, you can consider the amount of pressure pushing down on you for the entirety of our atmosphere. So there's a few sitting here, mm -hmm. and all of the air that's completely above you pushing down on you, that happens to a diver every 10 meters. Wow. So we have a dive time of 1 minute 45 seconds. We're going down at 88 meters now. 10 more meters to go. Jim's equalizing. Hit the candy cane. There we go. Now, now we are headed back up to the surface. Our Rockstar safety team has now just begun their safety dive. So once again, a dive time should be around a meter per second. So the diver is going down to be able to time it so they can meet the diver, the competitive diver, at 30 meters. Our surface safety is still up at the surface. And we will soon see the first of our safety divers coming into frame. And here we have a different style for the use of the arms. It's not a swimming motion. We're keeping it more in front or to the side of the line. We have both safeties escorting them very closely to the surface. Ready? Recovery breaths. for Taiwan. Beautiful. Free immersion dive of 101 meters. Wow. going to be at our last diver for this session, Vincenzo Ferry from Italy. Italy.
can see Vincenzo getting ready for his dive. He's now into the water. Four minutes. Four minutes until official pop. So this is going to be the last dive, session number two out of three sessions. We are going to have a break and then we'll be going back into our dives for the third and final session of the day. going after this? You're going to travel? You're going to stay in Bahamas a little bit? Pizza. No, um, I'm actually going to be headed to a mermaid competition in Virginia. So I'm going to be competing for Miss Mermaid USA. Ooh. So I've been traveling kind of heavy with all of my mermaid tails in tow. Um, and I'm going to get to meet some of the uh, national uh, queens in just a few weeks. So what does that entail, a mermaid competition? Two minutes! Um, so you do have a static, um, so the mermaid with the longest static, which is holding your breath as long as possible mm -hmm. and staying still in a pool, those uh, are scored higher. And it's also, um, they're judging you based off of your ocean conservation and nonprofit advocacy work. And then once we get to the national level, we will be doing a dynamic for the straight divers. We are doing a dynamic in a mermaid tail. And we will be doing on stage one minute thirty talking about our platforms that we are advocating for. The national title holders will go to D Dubai or Dahab. They have not decided yet in an undetermined time. And uh, I'm really excited for the possibility of getting to win that title. That's amazing. Is this the first one you've gone to? Yes, absolutely. You're gonna win. <laughs> there are a lot of amazing gals out there. I'm excited to meet them all. I feel as though there One is minute. a lot of community associated with both free diving and mermaiding. Yeah. It's nice to see a little bit of the cross pollination, and I'm starting to see a lot more mermaids are getting into free diving, and a lot of free divers are interested in making <coughs> underwater art. Mm -hmm. So we are less than one minute before official top time for Vincenzo, doing a constant weight five fins dive to 101 meters. And once again, this is our last and final dive for session number two. 30 seconds. Falling. 
That has to be a very soothing feeling. It's a lot like skydiving in slow motion. Mm. And especially when you do not have a large mask over your face, you can feel the water rushing across your face. It's a really unique feeling. So as you see here, he actually has his hands in some sort of band around his leg, maybe to possibly streamline him without having to actively do anything to make sure that he's streamlined. He has hit the candy cane, he is reaching nice. for that plate, and he's coming up with a tag. He's now at 88 meters and looking strong. 80 meters. The first of our safeties has just gone down to meet him. He's now at 67 meters, still looking very, very strong. Starting to slow down a little bit. However, his kicking is still going, and the first safety has just met him at 29 meters. Second safety is now in view. And this is always the most stressful part of a dive to be watching. The majority of the issues due to the extreme pressure changes can happen in the last 10 meters. And so Three to is. see him come up, he is taking his mask off of his face, doing recovery breaths, he's holding safely to the line. His airway has not resubmerged in and he is flashing the okay sign. Now we are just awaiting the responses of the judges. Oh. And a white card. Oh, Great job. Okay, and that was the last dive of session number two. We have one more session left today. The divers are pulling up the line. What an amazing session. That was three world records? Three world records. Three world records. And then four world records. And I think that we had some national records as well. Yeah. Um, so once again, that was the deepest session of the day, session number two, All if right. you're looking to watch future dives. And we are going to be cutting out and we will be having our third dive session of the day in just a few moments. So grab your pizza, take a bathroom pizza. break, and we will see you soon. Thanks for joining us.